So you saw my video from before about Stream Elements, OBS Live, and you wanted to try it out, but then you downloaded the program, you set everything up, and now you're like, how do I actually set up my alerts? How do I set up my overlays? How do I set up anything on this program? Well, let me show you how. If you don't already know, my name is Age, and I'm a full-time partner to a streamer with over 25,000 followers. I stream every single day except Sundays if you want to stop in and say hi. So you want to set up your alerts and your overlays on OBS. Let me show you how to actually do that. First things we should do is go to the Stream Elements website and then take it from there. Let's go. All right. So now that we are on the actual Stream Elements website, what you're supposed to do is log into your Twitch or with your Twitch and then scroll down here to my overlays on the left side right here. Once you click here, it's going to show you basically nothing because you don't have any overlay set up. Uh, how Stream Elements works and how OBS Live works is that everything can go through the website and through your browser source to your OBS. You don't have to use any of your, of your actual PC resources like GPU, CPU, or any of that stuff because everything goes through your internet connection. So if you have a decent internet, it'll be much better for your PC because it doesn't have to use all these resources and you can use them for your games and for your actual stream. So while we're on the My Overlays tab, we're gonna go here, create blank overlay, and we're gonna create a new overlay. So we have uh, overlay resolution. What you can set up right here is your monitor resolution or custom whatever. I usually choose 1440p because I have a 1440p monitor. If you have a 1080p monitor, choose 1080p, click start, and then it shows you nothing. And you're like, okay, so what are you supposed to do right now? Well, you have these widgets. So on the left side, you have uh, the button saying add a widget. So if you go and click on the add widget tab, it's going to open you this uh, list right here. And you're like, whoa, so okay, what is what does this list actually mean? Well, you can add all these actual uh, sources to your uh, browser source, to your overlay. So we, can, we want to add alerts and all that stuff. We go to the alerts tab, we click on the alert box. Once that opens up, we have a lot of different stuff over here, and now we can change stuff up. So the follower alert, we click on the cogwheel. Uh, we can change animation. This is the default animation. It's pretty good, pretty decent for the beginner animation. Uh, you can change the volume control, the music. You can upload your sounds, the layout, uh, change what the message says, the alert duration, all that stuff. The variation settings, you can do uh, variations, for example. Okay, for the follower, not really. But for the subs, if somebody, you know, subs uh, tier one, it says one message. If somebody says, uh, subs with prime, it shows another message. Uh, tier two, tier three, all that stuff. So you can add these variations. We, we're going to talk about that later on. TTS settings, you can add a TTS, uh, enable it. If somebody follows, it's going to say, you know, this and this person has now followed the channel or with the sub or biddies or all any of that stuff right there. Uh, animation settings, you can enable the custom ones. Don't touch this if you're if you're new. Just let you know have your normal ones. If you have a designer do some uh, alerts for you, or you have uh, you download the free packs from Stream Elements or any other site, just upload them right here. Change the video, click change video, and then upload them, and you should be good to go. Uh, once you play with all of those, you know these are follower ones, subscriber, tip, cheer, host, raid, everything. Uh, as I said. You can change your uh, text-to-speech ones and variations. So if you go to the tip alert and if you go to the variations, for example, if somebody donates, let's say, 333, uh, 3.33, it's going to play a different song or a different alert or like a scary alert, a uh, scream or something. You can do that right there. It's pretty good. A lot of people have that. And it makes your, you know, it, it brings viewers. It gets viewers to donate more, to support you more, to scare you. You get paid. They do it. It's a win-win all around. Um... You, what you can also add is a bunch of different stuff. You can add a merchandise alert box and add hype, uh, hype cups, kappa gens. There's a lot of things you can do, and it's really, really good. We're gonna go over the other ones in the next videos, but this one is more about the actual alert box and how to set everything up. So if you wanna test them out and you wanna test out the follower alert, all you have to do is click emulate on this little uh, uh, bell. You click on it, you click follower alert, and it's gonna show right here how that actually looks like. So it says Andrea is now following with this little animation. I think it's 10 seconds, we wait, and the animation goes away, and that's done. Uh, if you wanna play with it a little bit more, you wanna change the text, for example, let's say, um, you know, let's say instead of it's not following, you can add is a legend. And now if you click save, 
uh, we need to name the overlay. Let's name it, for example, test. Click save. And if we emulate this thing right here, if we click follower, it's going to say Gregsbury is now a legend. You can see that. Pretty cool. Uh, so now that we've edited all of that stuff, we want to actually add it to OBS. So how do we do that? Well, you click on a preview or you click on save. You can also click on this overlay URL button right here. Click on this. It's going to copy it or you can click preview and then there's the link right here. You double tap it, copy or click right here. Then you pull up your OBS, which we're going to do in a second. So we pull up our OBS and we have a lot of different stuff over here. Well, we go to plus, we go to browser source, click on browser and then add a new one. Let's make it test, click OK. And then all we have to do is paste our link from the uh, browser source. Uh, the width and the height uh, you can do is you can set up to the 800 to 600. You can leave it default. This is what I do for the alert box. But if you want to uh, change it on the website, you can make it 2560 by 1440. Click OK. And then it's going to be set basically wherever you uh, put this right here. Like, for example, if you zoom out a little bit, you can see how your screen looks like. So this is your monitor screen. So you can choose to be, you know, for it to be like, for example, you can move it around. Uh, you can have it in the middle, you know, top middle or move it around. Or you can just not move it around at all. And then when you open your OBS and you can just leave it 800 by 600, click OK. It's going to be this little uh, box thingy. So you can move this over here. And if we do test, let's do emulate to the follower alert. It's actually going to be right here. It's a bit hard to see because it's uh, all, you know, in the tunnel but it's right there this is what i do i don't really like to uh do too much of it you know have uh 2560 by 1440 and then move it or you know move this around here because it's a bit complicated i just like to move it around in my obs wherever i want and if you want to play with it a little bit more what you can also do is if you hold alt and then you can actually cut this down and crop it uh, so it's easier to edit around. So if we crop it a little bit and we do emulate, I'm not sure if I cropped it right, but oh, there you go, I did. So if you can literally crop it to however you want and then move it around everywhere. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.